Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here with my time to slam and jam wife, Laura. I'm here with my Tim Tammy husband, Nathan. And we're here for the brand new Space Jam Tim Tam Slams. Forget the Space Jam part, though. We're here for the Tim Tam Slams. Yeah, so if anyone that didn't know, um, a Tim Tam Slam is where you bite the diagonal, the corn, diagonal. Two, two corners diagonally away from each other off a Tim Tam. And then you basically dunk it into some warm... A warm drink, like a chocolate, hot chocolate milk. coffee, something yep. like that. And then you use the Tim Tam as a straw to suck up the liquid through the Tim Tam, and there you go. Yeah, so th this is something that's been around well, as long as I can remember. Like, I remember people talking about it in school and things like that. Anyway. Um, I could never get it to work. So I'm just going to eat mine, and Laura's warmed up some milk off camera. Yes. Um, it's not my preferred way of eating a Tim Tam, but never mind. I'm, I'm going to try, because these have been... Designed to slam. Sorry, it's a bit blurry. Welcome to the jam. So, bite, sip, slam. We have three flavours. There's dark choc and sticky raspberry, which I'm really looking forward to. Choc malt and sticky caramel. Mm-hmm. And... Choc hazelnut and gooey caramel flavour. <laughs> right. Um... Shall we go with this one then? Which is probably the least likely for us to enjoy. Yes. Yeah, so chocolate hazelnut and gooey caramel. I find this really interesting. Like, the Tim Tam Slam's been just around something that people have done for a long time, and now really they are pushing, taking advantage of it. Yeah. It was never an official thing that I'm aware of. Um, they look like well, Tim maybe, Tams. Well, maybe it was, and it was just before our time. I'm not sure. Um, oh. Yeah, they look normal. They definitely smell hazelnutty. There's definitely a. Oh, a heavy hazelnut smell. So I'm going to bite the corners off. I mm. may have taken too much off one corner, but it kind of just broke off, so it wasn't intentional. I'm not I've sure got, I, I particularly like that flavour, to be honest. I've got my Monopoly mug with my hot milk. Is it going to be uh, big enough or tall enough? To I hope so. <laughs> I should show what Laura's trying to do. No, let's not put this on camera. Hang on. Mm. Are you getting any? No. Um, yeah, I can't get anything to come through that at all. Laura, you have, oh, and there's milk on her. I have, I have managed to spill milk though, trying to get get it to work. Shh, but don't cry. Now she's got a soggy Tim Tam. It's <laughs> partially melted milk all over her. Um, hmm. Yeah. Look, I may have been designed to slam, but it still hmm. didn't work for me. So okay. Well, Laura, and unlike Nathan, I can actually get them to work. So normally, <laughs> mm -mm. the um, flavour. Yes. Um, the hazelnut's sort of quite weak, but it's got a really odd aftertaste, and the gooey caramel is quite tough. I didn't particularly like it very much. I didn't enjoy it either. I, th I think if you do like hazelnut, maybe then it's more for you. We're not hazelnut lovers, so it was never going to be our favourite, I don't think. So, otherwise it just tastes like a regular Tim Tam in all other sort of aspects of it. Alright. Choc mm. malt and sticky caramel. They really like the caramel, don't they? Well, they've already got a caramel one. They've already just um, used the existing Tim Tam and modify it. Yes. I imagine these will all look the same because they're all milk chocolate. Are you going to try and dunk again? Yes. Okay. Oh, you definitely Ooh, get a malt, malt smell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For sure. Ooh. Yep. Mm. Mm. I like malt too. It tastes like a Malteser, that part of it. Mmm. I mean, you can't go wrong with a Malteser, can you? Yeah, that's definitely a nice combination. Like Laura said, it tastes like a Malteser, but more, <coughs> a lot more thicker. Did you get some? I did. Oh, it is breaking apart though, so I'm going to lose the whole Tim Tam in my cup if I'm not careful. Um, hmm. Mm. Well, it's quite nice as a Tim Tam Slam. I got a lot of... I was coughing because I got a lot more milk than I was expecting. It really... Shot well, through there. <laughs> and you generally put like molten milk or something mm, like that anyway. Exactly. So. Mm, that's really nice. It's like the goodness of a Tim Tam with a bit of Malteseness in with it. So Laura's really putting her back into describing that. Yeah, it, it was good. I and nothing bad to say about that one. Like I said, alone it's still really nice to taste similar to a Malteser. Yeah. You just get more of it. So good work. Mm, very nice. All right. Dark chocolate and sticky raspberry. Mm, this is the one I'm looking forward to. Um, is this the only dark chocolate? I think the other two are both milk. Correct. And it is indeed darker. Mm. No. I always put dark chocolate with raspberry. Mm. But I, I like the raspberry flavoured stuff. I think it'd be cool to have 
milk and raspberry. There you go, you got the raspberry. It's not really like liquidy though. Mmm. On oh. the front, it shows that it's like oozing out. It is a bit liquidy. It's um similar to slightly melted fried Turkish delight, the consistency. Nathan, you're meant to talk while I'm doing this. No, I'm just watching you going. Hmm. I can see it almost melting and falling to the cup. Yeah. Mmm. Tasty. I like that one. It's it's nice. I mean, raspberry chocolate, it's a really nice combination, I think. Very rich, though. You will not have too many of these. You couldn't really well, do mm. <laughs> You probably shouldn't have too many of these <laughs> either way, but... Um, yeah. That's nice. That one, I didn't really get the raspberry when doing the actual Tim Tam Slam Did you just part. Did the milk or dark chocolate? Or? Yeah, it was more just like chocolatey coming through. The raspberry is definitely not gooey. Like... If there was this sort of consistency in the middle, I think it would have come through in the milk, but I didn't I, think I my, didn't get the raspberry in the milk part. I think my favourite was the malt one, surprisingly. My favourite is the raspberry just for eating, but if I was going to do Tim Tam Slams, this one came through. It was a really nice flavour when you slammed it. <laughs> I don't and, know. And I don't the, know what the lingo for Tim Tam Slam is. And the uh, hazelnut one can get lost. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't particularly like the flavour of it as a regular Tim Tam, and Laura couldn't even slurp it yeah i couldn't get i, I couldn't slam it <laughs> maybe that's just me though i don't know welcome do you want to jam or do you want to go slam uh, if you enjoyed watching this video give us a thumbs up let us know down below if you enjoy doing a tim tam slam or if you just prefer to eat it like we do hit that subscribe button and check back tomorrow we have a video every single day uh food is monday and wednesday sounds good thanks for watching Bye bye